everyone, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, I have a special guest, the one and only Curly Penny. Penny. <laughs> We're gonna show you how to go shopping for curly hair products. And we noticed you guys are kind of struggling when you go to the store. So we're gonna make it real easy for you. First stop is Target, AKA Target, right this way. Dun, 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 dun. Here is the curl section. Okay, so for me, it's really important to read the labels and know exactly what's in your in your products. All right, so take out your phones, take a screenshot, take some notes. These are the words we want to avoid on our labels. These are all sulfates. Sulfates might leave your hair squeaky clean, but they're actually stripping out too much moisture and natural oil from our hair, making it dry and brittle. It also is known to even cause skin irritation, so you really should just try to find a sulfate-free shampoo. We also want to avoid silicone. Silicone might give you amazing slip while you're detangling in the shower, but over time it actually can be damaging to your hair. It creates a barrier over your hair, not allowing any moisture to penetrate the hair shaft. And it can create product buildup, which is not good for your scalp, which could also stunt your hair growth. Y'all wanna know a real gooping gag? Okay, where's Earl? A real good and what? Gooping gag, girl. Gooping girl, what's gag. a gooping gag? Gooping gag. <laughs> we're going, we're leaving the ethnic section? I've never been over here before. <laughs> Over here, zero percent silicone. Okay. Okay. Like, oh, silicone free. That's good. Mm -hmm. Second ingredient is sodium lauryl. Oh, no. So just because it's silicone free doesn't mean that it's exactly. So so here's one that I have to talk about. I know you don't want to hear it. Oh, my nails match. But Aussie Moist. Everybody loves this, especially because it's so cheap. But if we check the back. Dimethicone. That's why the slip is so good because it has silicone. Sorry guys. I have a lot of people that tell me, well, it said curly hair on the bottle. That doesn't mean that it has actually healthy ingredients like this. It says curl perfection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see about it. Okay. <laughs> How about it? How about it? <laughs> the ingredient, look at that. What is that girl? Can you say that for me? Sodium laurel sulfate. That's SLS. That's I know. the worst type of sulfate. Now let's go to the conditioner. Conditioner? The mythicone. Mm -hmm. Don't go by the front. Make it a reflex to always flip it over, guys. Always flip it over. Pro tip. Oh, so let's check out the new Garnier Fertis. It says no silicone, no paraben. That's good. What? I don't see any sulfate on here. What? <gasps> Finally, a Garnier product we can use. They are hearing us curly girls roar. I am so happy, Garnier Fertis. Thank you. Yes. This really means Keep a lot. complaining, y'all, because they'll release more silicone free yeah, products. This is great. I know. And these actually look smaller on Instagram, or maybe I saw these. No, no, that's, those were the ones that oh, okay. released, and I think people were like, those are too small. Yeah, so this is like released. one day of a deep conditioning. I know, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Here's another great example. It's called Damage Eraser, paraben free. But if you read the back, it has amiodimethicone and methyl sulfate. So sulfate and silicone are not going to help you get rid of your damage. They're not. Penny, I think we have to go back to the, the natural section. This is not where we belong. <laughs> I agree. I'm breaking out in hives over here. <laughs> now we're going to do brands that you probably think are good, but surprisingly aren't. And that's ORS. So this says oil, moisture, hair, lotion, castor oil is a word that we like get excited about, adds shine, prevents breakage, promotes healthy growth. This is something that you guys probably would just grab because it sounds good, right? Girl, sounds, sounds good, good to me. Part. What's wrong with it? But. Dimethicone, okay. right here on the front page, y'all. Shampoo, are they at least sulfate free? Ammonium laurel sulfate. Girl. Guys, another one. Another one that you guys like that might be surprised about. It's cream of nature. Let's try their conditioning treatment. Mm -mm -mm. Dimethicone. It's not cream of nature, it's cream of danger. <laughs> Cream of danger. Cream of danger. Oh, okay. New product alert. Have you heard of these? Okay, this is another thing, y'all. <laughs> you can't get too hyped about this. Like, yeah, it's cute. It's pretty labels. It's so cute. I'm but let's grip it all in. I know, like. Okay, I let's know. check out. So we got real sidetracked, but just so you guys know, the Love Beauty and Planet shampoo had sulfate, but the conditioner was silicone free. Look at this. Look oh, great. the pineapple. That's so pretty. Hold on, we have to talk about this. I know. Everybody so sent me 
this because it says pineapple curls on it. Those are my two favorite words in like the whole world. <laughs> it's true, you do like pineapples. Duh, girl. Yeah, I do like pineapples, but please, I'm praying that this is, that this checks out because I want to use this so bad. We're good. No. I think we're good. What? Double check for me. Tell me it's okay. Tell me it's okay. Gotta put Jeopardy music here. Dun, dun, dun. You's right. It's yeah. good, huh? Okay. <laughs> I'm speechless. I'm so excited. <laughs> Shea Moisture is always like a safe go-to line because all of their products are sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. Palmer's coconut oil. Ooh, I think we're good. Yeah? I think we're good. Okay, so the Palmer's coconut oil, check the conditioner. Yes. That's where the yeah. money is. And it's the same exact no thing as well. No sulfates, no parabens, no mineral oil. Okay, check the back. Oh, that's the thing. Like sometimes you can go for their shampoo, exactly, but not their conditioner. I know a lot of y'all use these, these protein packs, but I don't even think these are good for you guys. Dimethicone, not gonna help your deep conditioning if your conditioning can't get through your hair. Oh, what? Target has deep curl. So let's talk about this. So yes, there could be deep curl in Target. But technically, Diva Curl told me personally that they are not a retailer at Target. So technically, these could be expired or bootleg. <laughs> Mila Rose Naturals, that's definitely a very natural one. I can say that this entire line is safe. Natural ingredients, no sulfates, no parabens, silicone free. Curls too. Curls as well. Curls is amazing. All of them, sulfate, paraben, silicone free. Mm -hmm. Approved. Myel Organics, oh my. definitely. All of these, sulfate, paraben, silicone free. This is a big one. Penny, do you know about Carol's daughter? Oh, it's it hurts. So sad. It's hurt. It hurts. Let, let's show them. Show them the truth. They need the truth. They need the truth. Which truth? <laughs> Um, okay. Cleansing conditioner. Let's try that. Okay, one. okay, let's try the cleansing conditioner. Hold on. The third ingredient is cyclopentacillazine. And it also has amodimethicone. No. Does it have sulfate too? It has methyl sulfate. Sulfate and silicone. Alright, so I think I've seen enough here at Target. Let's try some high-end products at Ulta. First victim. First victim. Definitely Bumble and Bumble. Check out this conditioner. Dimethicone. So, their shampoo, sulfate free. Conditioner, not so much. Diva Curl! This looks just like my house at home. My <laughs> section. <laughs> All 100% sulfate, paraben, silicone free. We are often conditioned to think more expensive is better, right? The, the whole you get what you pay for. Mm -hmm. But just because something is a higher brand that doesn't necessarily mean it has better ingredients. Actually, what I've noticed is they have more chemicals. And I'm mm -hmm. like, y'all got money. I don't understand. Like, why can't you guys put good ingredients? You know? Exactly. And, think, and that's kind of the problem with weed ad. All right, and like Penny said, just because it says curls on it doesn't mean it's really our friend. Sulfate-free conditioner. Check it out, darling. Amyl dimethicone. Dimethicone. It has both? And cyclotetracilazine. It has three silicones in a row. Damn. In the top 10 ingredients. Mark Anthony. Not your mother's, let's see. The shampoo. Sulfate, oh, sulfate silicone paraben-free. Oh, nice. Oh, look at that. $8.99 each. That's not a bad. Okay, so there you have it. The only other brand that I don't see here that also checks out is Briogeo. Mm -hmm. They are all sulfate, paraben, silicone free. But I hope this video helped you guys. Think we helped out somebody? Yes, actually. Please, please consider this stuff. Yeah. It's really important. And now on Penny's channel, we're going to find 10 silicone free conditioners under $10. What? Is this possible? We're gonna try. Is this I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> so I will put a link to Penny's channel below. Make sure you check out her video next. Subscribe to both of our channels. Make sure you become our curl friends. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee and Penny at. I have different handles because uh, I'm, I'm a hot mess. Okay, but my YouTube and my Twitter 
Oh wait, no, my YouTube Girl. is Curly Penny. <laughs> and my Twitter and my Instagram is It's Curly Penny. Cause someone took it and they have like four followers. I was like, what? <laughs> you took my name for that? Okay, okay, we'll I won't figure pay it out. you money we'll to give me my name. <laughs> I'll just put all her stuff below cause it got a little complicated. But uh, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next oh, week. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.